What's up everyone? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it is time to give you my prediction for the upcoming 2022 SEC Championship game between the LSU Tigers and the Georgia Bulldogs. I thought about making this video tomorrow but I thought about making it just today because I got the um, college football playoff projections uh, coming out tomorrow so why not do this video today? Why not give you two videos in a day? I gave you the Pac-12 Championship game earlier. And how I've been doing these conference championship games, predictions, basically I give you um, the stats of, the, of both teams and also give you the game summary and give you what the FBI has percentage with the team and also give you a score prediction at the end of the game of, of this video, what the score will be at the end of the game. So that's how I've been doing my videos all weekend. And now we got the SEC championship game. This is my last conference championship prediction video before we head into that weekend. So LSU and Georgia, both of these teams, meeting for the first time in three years. Um, last time these two teams met in the SEC championship game, it was LSU that came out on top. And in 2018, Georgia obviously got beat by LSU in Death Valley. So let's get right into it here with my SEC championship game prediction between the LSU Tigers and the Georgia Bulldogs. We're going to start with the stats for both teams first. You look at the passing yards for both of these teams, we'll start with LSU stats first. Now, this is a team that can throw the football. Jaden Daniels can throw the football. They're averaging about 241.6 yards per passing. You look at the rushing, this team can run the football as well. Uh, Jaden Daniels, he can use his legs pretty well, about 191.8 yards per game. Yeah, Jaden Daniels, you know, has 11 rushing touchdowns on the year, and that's pretty good for, you know, an LSU quarterback. And Jaden Daniels has gotten better each and every single game as well. But the question is, can he run the football against this Georgia defense that, you know, is really good against the run? So, you know, Georgia's going to be really unfocused on that running game of LSU. Looking at the points per game, LSU is averaging about 32.5 points per game, so pretty good. I mean, they haven't really scored a lot of points this year, but they've gotten better each and every single game. The scoring has gotten better this season for LSU. Uh, offensively and defensively in the rankings, offensively they rank 34th and defense they rank 36th. So pretty close to, to the same numbers on both sides of the ball for LSU. Yeah, overall, this team can really run the football. And also, Jaden Daniels can really pass the football well. But will it be enough to really go up against this Georgia defense? Georgia stats, um, they're averaging about 285.8 yards per passing. Uh, Stinson Bennett, we know he hasn't had the best year, but... Stinson Bennett at times has looked pretty good, but you know, last week I said he didn't play his best game, and overall the Georgia offense just didn't play their best game. Well, they still won that game big against Georgia Tech, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean this is a team that you know can just um, flat out pass the ball pretty well. Uh, Stinson Bennett, we've seen him good at times, but still, he he's only thrown, you know, he hasn't um, thrown a lot of touchdown passes this year, but. I mean, he's he's over 3,000 yards of passing, so that's the good news for Georgia. This team can run the football pretty well. Um, they're averaging about 203 yards of rushing. This team has gotten better at running the football. I mean, you know, November, they weren't really running the ball that much in, you know, early September or something like that. But, yeah, Georgia can run the football offensively. I mean, they're pretty good at, you know, running the football. They got some talented backs, just like I said. This team's averaging about 38.3 points per game, so... Georgia's offense overall pretty good, and you look at their offense here, they're a top 10 offense, about 8th in the country. Defensively, I think they're the best. They have 4th in the nation in defense. They're only giving up about 11 points a game, so yeah, Georgia on both sides of the ball just unreal. They are averaging about 38.3 points per game. The defense is just giving up 11, and they're good at stopping the run. They're only allowing 79 rushing yards a game, so looking at both of these stats for both of these teams... Um, they're not pretty similar. The passing is pretty similar. Uh, the running game, I think Georgia has the edge. But I think the stats overall, the advantage goes to Georgia because the defensive ranking and also the offense is just really insane. All right, let's get to the game summary now. Uh, LSU enters this game at 9-3. and Georgia enters this one at 12-0. and uh, This game's at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on CBS. It will be on Saturday in Atlanta, like how it is in the SEC Championship. So pretty much a home game for Georgia, but... Not pretty much a home game, but it's just a neutral site game. Georgia's favored in this one by 17 and a half points. It probably would have been less if LSU didn't lose those three games. I mean, they're coming off a loss to Texas A&M this past weekend. Uh, Georgia's entering this game at 12 and 0. 
Now, going into this season, I knew Georgia would not lose a game, but going into this season, I didn't think LSU would probably win nine games in Brian Kelly's first season. I thought they would just win maybe like maybe six games or something like that just because of the schedule, but you know, they come overcome that. And now if LSU would have won that game against Texas A&M, this team could have been sitting there at 10 and two, and this would probably been a good SEC championship game. Now the FBI is giving Georgia an 83% chance to win this game and only giving LSU about a 17% um, chance. So they're, they're really a big underdog in this game. So, I mean, you just never know though what can happen in these neutral site games as well. I mean, if you look at the last five games as well for both of these teams, Georgia's games, you know, they beat Florida on October 29th. They beat Tennessee pretty good. They also beat Mississippi State on the road pretty good. Now, the Kentucky game was pretty off for Georgia. They only won that game by 10. I mean, they beat Georgia Tech as well, though, this past Saturday, 37-14. Looking at LSU's last um, five games, they beat Ole Miss at home. They um, beat Alabama in overtime at home. So back-to-back -back top 10 wins there. And then they beat Arkansas on the road. And they beat UAB pretty big, and they lost to Texas A&M this past weekend. So, yeah, that was a tough loss for LSU to really swallow. So they're going to have to get revenge in this one. It's not a revenge game, though, because it's against Georgia. But, yeah, this game at 4 o'clock Eastern time, um, Georgia's favored by 17.5 points. That's a big number, um, really big advantage there for Georgia. I think they're kind of a lesser favorite than that. So, all right, let's get into the prediction here. We got LSU versus Georgia in the SEC championship game. Um, LSU is 9-3. Georgia is 12-0. How do I think the game will go? Well, I think it's going to really be a defensive game. I mean, both teams are pretty good on the defensive side of the ball. Georgia is just much better, though, than the LSU offense and a better um, defense as well than LSU's defense. Now, depending on how this game goes, I think LSU can score points, but... I don't think it will be a really big enough number for their points. I mean, Georgia's got a good offense. They can run on this LSU defense as well. Yeah, I mean, both of these teams are pretty even. But, you know, Georgia's just a lot better in this game. And I think turnovers are going to be the key, big key here for this Georgia defense as well. So I think LSU is, you know, they got a pretty good offensive team, but I don't think it will be enough. I'm going to go with the Georgia Bulldogs with a win. I got them winning this one 30-17. I mean, that is my score prediction for this SEC championship game coming up Saturday. And, you know, Georgia will score 30 points. I think their offense can really pretty much score on this team. It just won't be early in the game. I think it will come late in the game. Maybe Georgia starts pulling away. But I think LSU scores 17 on this Georgia team. But I don't think they'll get into the 20s because, you know, Georgia's only given up 11 points per game. But yeah, this defense overall is just really strong for Georgia. I don't really see LSU moving the ball on this team. Maybe the running game works for them, but it just won't be enough. Uh, Georgia will keep running the football as well. They can also go with the passing game. But that is my prediction for the SEC championship game coming up for you Saturday um, for conference championship weekend. And I think Georgia will be the number one seed in the projections um, for the college football playoff. That video is coming tomorrow. And stay tuned here for more on the Lucas Ross sports channel.